Hello friends, subscribers, and inquiring minds. Vivian here to offer my perspective on the meaning of Pordism. And for those that need clarification, my perspective is my opinion. In memoirs, William tells us the Beatles created a form of Luciferianism or Satanism, known as Pordism. William also tells us Paul's death was the result of a ritual sacrifice which was consummated with a ritual that both Paul, and John Lennon, participated in back in 1962. This ritual, was a pact, where Paul and John gave their lives for the success of the Beatles. William refers to this as death for success. We have heard many times of the untimely and premature deaths of artists and entertainers. In the music industry starting with the British invasion, we can point to Brian Jones of the Stones, John Bonham of Led Zeppelin, Keith Moon of The Who, The 27 Club, etc. The more success an artist or band strives for, the more that artist or band is required to give up to achieve the fame and fortune they seek. As I have mentioned many times before, the music and entertainment industry is completely controlled, cradle to grave. It is used to manipulate your thoughts, opinions, and desires. It's a massive mind control and social engineering tool. Therefore, the pyramid of power controls the level of success of any artist or band in order to shape your reality. A reality which does not work the way many believe it works. There is a hidden hand which manipulates our world to steer our collective mental and physical energy to manifest the goals of the controllers. The primary objective of the controllers is to instill a Luciferian mindset, which includes a one-world government and religion. Here are my thoughts on how the controllers used the Beatles, Paul, and Paulism to drive this agenda. To be clear, I am not saying I subscribe to what I am explaining. I am simply offering my interpretation of Paulism, as presented in the memoirs of Billy Shears. And with that disclaimer, let's get started. Biological Paul's death was a Luciferian or Satanic ritual, based in Alistair Crowley's magic to bring about a new age. An age that departs from what the controllers consider to be the restrictive nature of the current world view, which inhibits our true desires and purpose. These restrictive elements include institutionalized religion. In particular, Christianity. Crowley is a major influence within the pyramid of power, and his religion of Thelema is the belief system of many within the ranks of the Illuminati. The philosophy and theology of Crowley and the controllers goes back to the ancient Egyptian mysteries. One of the reasons Paul was selected as the sacrificial lamb was his raised eyebrow, which is symbolic of the Eye of Horus. And thus, Paul's role in the controllers' grand plan of societal and cultural change, was set in motion long before the Beatles reached any level of notoriety. The planning within the pyramid is decades and centuries, and perhaps millennium in advance of what we eventually experience. In 1962, the Illuminati declared war on Christianity because it represented an obstacle to the implementation of Luciferianism. The Beatles, along with other bands, preached Luciferian philosophy through their music, which included free love, non-traditional values and drug experimentation under the guise of expanded consciousness. It can be summarized by Crowley's doctrine of to what thou wilt, shall be the whole of the law. On a personal note, I have yet to find anything inspiring about Crowley, who in my opinion, was an extreme hedonist who spent an inordinate amount of his life exploring the dark side of duality. But I digress. An example of the war on Christianity can be illustrated with John Lennon's comments about the Beatles being more popular than Jesus. His comments were not a mistake or a slip of the tongue. It was scripted. It was designed to undermine the Christian belief system. In the minds of the controllers, the response of burning Beatle records show the intolerance and narrow-mindedness of the religious for all the world to see. Lennon was a celebrant of the New World Order. If you don't believe me read the lyrics to his song, Imagine. It also appears Lennon subscribed to Crowley. Many who follow the Beatles are aware of the famous sketch of John Lennon with his granny glasses. Each round lens depicts the letter O. 
Then look at the image and take note where the bridge of his nose meets the glasses to form the letter T. Now notice the acronym. OTO. This stands for Ordo Templi Orientis. OTO is an occult organization made famous by Crowley. Now, we can call this coincidence, or we can acknowledge what is hidden in plain sight. These clues and symbols are telling us there is a concerted, long-term, planned out strategy to systematically change the world and how it operates through our collective implied consent. Many listening to me will be thinking they did not consent to any of this agenda. However, if you worship your bands, artists, and entertainers, you are paying tribute to your gods. If you are paying tribute, you are consenting. These people are emissaries of the change being implemented, and whether knowingly or not, we are enablers by giving them our mental and physical energy. And the Beatles played a major role in the implementation of this plan. For many people, the Beatles, are indeed their gods. We left the age of Pisces and entered into the age of Aquarius back in December 2012. Some occultists equate the water bearer of Aquarius with Lucifer. Therefore to the controllers, biological Paul's death was a sacrifice to help bring about the new age. The age of the light bearer. The Beatles would become and became, godlike figures, with Paul a graven image of the Christ. Paul and the Beatles would be and still are worshipped and idolized as gods by millions. When we idolize we are offering our energy in the form of consciousness and money. Consciousness is your spiritual energy which is being tapped. Money is currency like the current of electricity which when harnessed creates energy and makes one's desires kinetic. This direction or steering of energy in the form of thoughts, intentions, and deeds, feeds and empowers the magic to ensure the manifestation of the Illuminati agenda of a one world government and religion. Paulism, is the Beatles own brand for promoting sex, drugs, and rock and roll in order to free the mind of traditional conditioning which is viewed as spiritually oppressive by the controllers. And yes, it is certainly paradoxical that the controllers utilize oppression in order to enlighten the masses based on their interpretation of what constitutes enlightenment. Paulism like Crowley's The Lima, is a movement, or spiritual philosophy, intended to bring about a dramatic change in the traditional worldviews of our collective societies and cultures. Or, do what thou wilt, shall be the whole of the law. And this concludes my assessment. I am not endorsing Paulism, Christianity or any other belief system or philosophy. The comments section is open below. Non-value add and arrested develop comments will be deleted, or may lead to the person being banned from the channel. So please be an open-minded critical thinker. Thank you for listening and remember Paul is dead, and I am not real.